bit of a setup here for the vocal booth. It's pretty similar to the drum booth, really, just in a different room. To be really honest, this room is dry enough to do vocals with just a mic in the center of the room. But there's something nice about building a booth for a vocalist. It gives them the feeling that you're making them a little place, a little space that's their own. And there's so much psychology involved in doing vocals that it's nice for them to feel that they've got their own little special room to sing in. And you can put fairy lights around it and you can dress it up and it can be their own little space. Saying that, we did use a lot of compression on the vocal on this song, so you know there's an argument to say that if you could dry the mic sources out a little bit, then it's going to sound a bit less roomy, a bit better, but there's not a lot in it, to be honest. We've got two mics set up here, we're going to do a little mic shootout between the two. We've got the Sony C800, which is the black mic there with the valve on the back, and we've got the Sam Deluxe 251, it's a telephone can copy, it's a very good mic. We usually shoot out between those two. But what tends to happen a lot is that, because the Sony's brighter, you find that the telephone can, with the EQ on, sounds the same as the Sony, so... As I was talking about source signals earlier, often good to get the sound right at source. Using the tube traps there, getting the fairy lights out. Well, I see myself As suspected, the Sony wins the mic shootout. Well, I can see myself in your eyes when you're wide open. I can see myself in your eyes when you're wide open. I can see you, but you always loved you. It's a pretty easy vocal session, this. While he delivered really well. I always try and be as hands off as possible with vocalists. It's, it's a really hard balance. Because you want them to feel that you're with them and you're supporting them and you're giving them input on the session. But also, if they get too much input, they lose focus on the song. I find if you've got the whole band in the room, they all want to have this say with how the vocals should be delivered. And uh, I like to think of myself like a um, like Capcom at a an Apollo mission, where only one person speaks to the vocalist or one person speaks to the astronaut. That way, you avoid too much input, and you can filter that input through to the singer. Because often everybody wants the same things. You just got to filter the information so he or she gets the information they need to deliver the song properly. But you've got to give them that freedom to deliver the song in the way that they want to deliver it. So it's a really tricky balance of hands on and hands off. A bit of de-esser on the mic there. Just kind of need with the Sony really. In this case, I got wired just singing the whole song all the way through. Sometimes it's nice to break the song into sections, especially if there's a big jump octave-wise between different sections of the song, so you can really focus on certain parts. Yeah, that Master DS is a really good plug-in. At the end of the day, we didn't do that many takes of this. I think maybe, yeah, I've got a playlist of maybe five or six takes. You see that Massey's not doing an awful lot, probably just on the self and the really sibilant words. So 
Sounds really great, Wally. I'm actually thinking of, of tracking the end section, but only the end part. Oh, can't you hear me? Sorry. I thought you had a finger on the button. Can you hear me now? Yeah. I was actually, I was actually thinking of double tracking the end section. Yeah. Tracking the main vault, tracking the harmonies, just so that it, to just go for that lift for the end. Oh, cool. Uh, and, and keeping the, the for earlier courses single track the single harmony like you've done on the yeah. on the demo. Sounding real good. Just a little bit rushed in a couple of places, but yeah, it's fantastic. Good. Your can's okay. Yeah, it all sounds good in here. Just gonna drop the mic slightly as well, you're singing over the top of it. Got a bonus extra chorus then? Yeah, I thought, well, just smash it through. Are we going to leave that bit just instrumental? I mean, that was the, that was the idea. Because there's that really nice little vocal ad-libbing that comes back in. Oh, yeah. Which well, I maybe think... that's what you do then, yeah. Yeah, I think, I think you do the double chorus and end, and we'll let that other little vocal ad-lib come through. Oh, Because cool. it, it, um, yeah, it's a really nice moment then, because the track really builds, but the vocal comes right down. Yeah. Um, can we just do me a couple more takes? It sounds fantastic. Yeah, that was a really great take. 